What's up graphic designers? Today we're going to start our sports marketing unit and we're going to use these images as inspiration and in fact you're going to find a poster that you like and reimagine it using photos uh, from the girls basketball team. Um, but for this project to work first what we're going to need to do is create cutouts. So we've got lots of cool cutouts. Here's an example of course Anna K. To download this image you're going to click the three vertical dots. You're going to download the high-res image. You're going to open it in Photoshop and today we are creating PNGs. Now I know we've created PNGs in the past and we remember that we're going to create an amazing selection, right? And then once we've got the selection we're going to press Command C. We're going to go to File, New, Selection, right? Then File, New and then we're going to press create or simply press enter and when we press command v right uh, the selection fills the space on the uh, canvas we're then going to unlock the background layer we're going to drag it to the garbage can we're going to delete it we're going to save this as a png right so file save as and you're going to save this as your first name last name athlete's name cutout all right this is of course is not an amazing cutout um of Anna Kay. I'm going to press Command D to deselect and here's how you're going to approach this uh, image to create a cutout. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to find the ball. So if the ball is um, away from like the individual, if it's um, being held or dribbled away from her body, what we're going to do is we're going to open up the elliptical, mac um, elliptical marquee and this is the first tool that we're going to use. So I'm going to zoom in, Command Plus. Check this out ladies and gentlemen. We've done this in the past. And I can see that add to selection is highlighted. Great. And um, once we've got the elliptical marquee selected, I'm going to left click and I'm going to hold shift. So I'm holding shift and it's a perfect circle. Tremendous. And I'm uh, pulling out and I can see that it's not where I want it on the ball. So now I'm going to continue to hold shift, but I'm going to press space bar too. And I can see that I can move this selection. All right. So I'm going to move it to the upper left hand corner. Just a tad. I'm going to release space bar. Now I'm still holding shift. So it's a perfect circle. I'm going to press space bar. I'm going to shift it over just a tad. And I really like where it is. I'm going to press. Um, actually, I'm just simply going to release shift. And we've got this nice selection. Great. So now I'm going to switch to the magnetic lasso. And you're going to see something that's not amazing. So again, we've got the add to selection um, checked or highlighted. And I'm going to left click. And we're just going to get her forearm, right? And I know that this isn't the crispest or clearest of images. And as a result, um, when we make selections and press copy, we're going to press File New, I'm going to press Enter, and then Command V. I'm not loving this selection. Um, you know, her it's not smooth, it's not clean cut. You guys see that? Uh, that does not look amazing. So what we're going to do instead, oh, that's, let's close it out. Uh, we're not going to save that. What we're going to do instead, instead of using the, um, instead of using the magnetic lasso, I'm going to press Command Option Z to go back. There we go. What we're going to do is we're going to use the polygonal lasso, and I'm going to zoom in. And you guys need to be smart with this. You guys need to be um, artists. And I'm going to click once, and this is going to create straight lines. And you're going to go right up along the the edge. And I'm clicking, and uh, now all of a sudden, this looks much better. Um, what I'm going to do before I do anything else is I'm going to return to the elliptical ma uh, elliptical marquee, because I know if I use the magnetic, magnetic lasso along the top of her head, it would also be a challenge. So I'm going to um, actually this time not hold shift, because it doesn't have to be a perfect circle. I'm going to hold space bar. I'm going to shift it around. And again, if we hold space bar, we can shift the selection around. And I'm going to go like so and I'm going to release and now all of a sudden that looks pretty good. I'm going to press it again. I'm going to hold space bar. Let's see. And that looks great right there. I'm going to get along this edge. I'm holding space bar. I'm shifting it around. Nice. We're looking for amazing, amazing selections. Uh, so very quickly, in conclusion, we're going to start by zooming in. We're going to use the elliptical marquee. I'm going to hold shift perfect circle holding space bar I'm shifting the selection around re releasing space bar hold while holding shift I know maybe I'm beating a dead horse I'm gonna switch to we can try the magnetic lasso right here it might be a little bit more clear and this looks good I can tell that the bottom of her arm we're definitely gonna need the polygonal lasso make sure the add to selection is checked so check 
Now again, it can't look angular, right? We want to be um, we want to be professionals. We're looking for outstanding selections, and so I know when I press. Let's wrap this up. All right. So I'm finishing off that selection when I press Command C, File New, and then Create, or simply press Enter, Command V. That basketball looks amazing, All right? This right here looks tremendous. Up here, we use the magnetic lasso, and you know, I could live with that. I could live with that, um, but we're going to want to strive for greatness. Now, where do you find your image? What you're going to do is you're going to click on this spreadsheet, of course. You're going to find your name in column A under Photoshop, or you're going to find the image link. You're going to download it, and when you're done with the selection, you're going to submit it um, as a PNG, as a PNG, and then you're going to return to the spreadsheet, and you're going to write simply done. That way, I know and your classmates know that this uh, visual has been submitted. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm really excited to see your work. Good luck.